Most of the time during a COD game's life cycle, you see a weapon go from OP to nerfed into the ground. Well, this weapon did the opposite. Well, technically these three weapons did. Those being the rocket launchers and the M79. Now, technically the M79 did have the biggest glow up out of all these three, having the fastest fire rate. But I've been around 100 more than a few times with just the M79. So today I'm gonna be trying to get the mastery hauling card for the RPG. So back in the day before they added PhD and the ability to upgrade it so you don't take any self explosive damage, you used to have to train around zombies like this and then take them out in groups. But now with PhD, it just makes it so much easier just to pull out an M79, pop a ring of fire and shoot at your feet and just fly through rounds in this game. But I've never really tried it with the RPG. So I'm not gonna be trying to high round with it today, but I'm gonna get a little taste of what it would be like to try to camp with it. But I wanna try to get power on as soon as possible here. That way we can go into the dark aether and grab PhD since there's no machine for it on this map. And what I mean by as fast as possible is on as low as a round as possible. Cause right now I'm having to train around to take all these zombies out to make sure I'm still getting progress. But before they added in PhD, did you ever run into anybody that's like, yeah, I'm gonna hop into this game with a launcher or like the M79? Nobody was doing that. These were like the most forgotten guns and zombies. Even with that, they were still kind of easy to get the camos for, but it was no one's like main weapon to hop into a game with. Like this perk single-handedly made them basically useless into some of the best weapons in the game. And to get our mastery challenge done with it today, I think we need to get around like 600 kills with it. I was around like 1900 kills and we need 2500 with it. So we'll see how long that'll take. All right, let's see if we got enough money to make it all the way down to power now. We're barely short on opening this door. We just need a few more points. That should do it. That's gruesome as hell, actually. The RPG is kind of fun. Do I have enough to even get PhD right now? I think I need to kill a few more zombies. I don't want to miss this opportunity. Because we still need a little bit of points to even go through our little aether portal. Or maybe these crystals will be generous and give us PhD? these crystals oh a, a monkey bomb we don't need that decoy will work just fine for us we should have enough to buy it there we go now we can just shoot at our feet as much as we please and nothing will happen to us now look how much better this is we can just get all these zombies right here bam like nothing happened you can almost kind of afk it until somebody comes over to you and then get those kills. So I'm gonna use my Tesla Storm right now to grab a few extra points, and then I'm switching to Ring of Fire for the rest of the game. And just because we're playing on D Machina, I'm gonna use Deadwire. So I feel like even though we have an RPG, these Megatons will not go down easy. I wanna get at least a little bit of an advantage against them. We need to get this thing pack-a-punched ASAP because I am already out of ammo. This thing runs out of ammo too fast. There we go. I wonder if I can do the bunny Easter egg or the coffin dance Easter egg with this. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can blow up the orbs like that. That's sweet. I didn't know it worked like that. I thought it was only bullet weapons. And there's a Megaton. Let's see how much this does. Oh, it's actually like a three rocket split. At least for the first one that shows up. I'm sure it won't be that easy later on. What does it do on the bombers though? The bombers actually are three rockets too. They have like the same amount of health. Well, let's go ahead and get our free jug. Wait, was that not everything? Did I miss one? We got under there. We got by the chair bars. We got the one up there. Did we get this one? Yeah. So what am I missing here? Did I miss this one? Oh, I did. I'm an idiot. Can I not hit it? There we go. You know what? I'll melt a pop. Be fun with this. We'll be re reloading a lot. Do you actually get electric cherry with the RPG? Oh yeah, you do. All right. Give me the Sigma. It did not listen. That would have been nice to get both of our rocket launchers here. And since we are running into an ammo issue, we should probably get mule kick sooner rather than later. And now that we got mule kick, we're basically good to camp right here until we need to go pack a punch this again. Now, I know I've said this to death, but they have criminally underused the dark aether in this game, especially since most of these perks here have like their very own like dark aether versions of their perk tunes. Like it seems like they wanted to use more of the dark aether and they just didn't. Like why? Like it's so beautiful and they don't want to use it anymore. Like we, we see this in zero other maps for nothing. And actually I'm going to see if we can get the Sigma out of the box. It'd be nice to knock out both our launchers. It seems like I always get the Sigma when I'm not trying to. But now that I want it, the box knows that. It's going to give me everything but it. And with Ring of Fire, this thing's nasty. 
I didn't even mean to throw that decoy. I'm just spamming. This is definitely not good for our ammo count, though. I'll tell you what. And now it's moving. Yeah, thanks for all your help, Box. So much for us camping in Penthouse. Now, now I'm dead set on getting the Sigma out of here. And it's moving again. Fuck off, Box. Well, since the box isn't helping us out, let's just go ahead and get this thing pack-a-punch too. Actually, is there a Sigma wall buy on like any map? I feel like I can picture it, but I don't know if it's real. Because that'd be a hell of a lot easier than hitting the box for it. Oh my god, we got the ZRG before the Sigma. This is ass. All right, well, I'm completely broke. And we're getting pretty close on our eliminations too, unless I missed it. Oh, there it is. We got our mastery done for the RPG. And I'm gonna try hitting the box a few more times. And if I don't get it, we'll just restart with the Sigma and get that done as well. I have a feeling that we have a better chance at getting the ray gun than the Sigma. Like this game just reads your mind or listens to you, figures out what you want from the box and gives you everything else. Like this is kind of insane. You know what? I'm not gonna waste my time. We'll go get our Sigma ourselves. And even if PhD makes this gun better, you still can't improve how slow this thing shoots. It's like a eighth of the time it takes to shoot the RPG. That's an exaggeration, but it is like significantly slower. You know what I was just thinking about? If Cold War had every other zombie game's like point system where just doing damage to zombies, like every time you shoot them gives you points, this would make it even worse. But the way that they made the point system here, Every single gun is a point gun, or at least gets the same amount of points like per kill. I kind of wish they had the old point system though, it'd be fun. And I forgot to check how many kills we needed with the Sigma before you hopped in, but I assume it's similar to the RPG, maybe a little bit more. And since we don't have to hit the box to try to get our other launcher, we can kind of just sit in penthouse now. We can actually see if this works for camping. See if this lives up to the M79's name. And since we are sitting here camping, it's got me thinking. You know, I, I used to get comments all the time when playing Cold War of like, uh, you know, people trying to gatekeep zombies being like, all people want to do in Cold War is camp. Well, you're not wrong there. But I would also get those comments where it was like, people have ruined zombies just trying to camp. They, they've escaped from what zombies used to really be and wasn't like one of the very first strategies in zombies for knocked like to go up there by the stairs and just buy nades and toss them like i feel like camping has always been like a maybe not as viable in cold like as it is in cold war but it's always been like a strategy people have like aspired to do like even on Doris or, or the giant like that that little catwalk everyone always tries to camp up there with like an lmg or something and i think like the the round 100 strat for derise and drac was like just taking a bow in and, and camping like in that little building right by the courtyard same with like Revelations round 100, but everybody hates that round 100 since it's so easy. And I know I'm sitting here having an argument with myself, but as as a, a camping enjoyer in zombies, I feel like it doesn't get as much respect as it deserves. Because yeah, training definitely takes more skill, but it also takes way more time to do. And I feel like if there's a strat where you can camp and still get to uh, as high as round as you can with training, I'd much prefer to camp. Because there's just something so satisfying about like waves of zombies coming at you and them not being able to do shit against you. Like you, you got something for everything. Too many zombies coming, pop a ring of fire. Big elite coming, pull out a, a death machine or a war machine. Like it's just very satisfying to do. Oh, you can actually lock onto elites? I didn't know that with this. Actually, maybe I did. It's just been so long since I've used it. So I feel like after I got these, like, gold viper, I haven't touched them since. Even though I have gotten gold viper on a few accounts, but... But I only touched these while getting camos for it. That's kind of a cool feature. It's not like you won't ever be able to find the zombies. They're always constantly running at you, but it's kind of fun that they actually added in a use for the lock on. You think we maybe didn't get as many launchers in this game because of zombies? Like imagine trying to use the Joker in zombies. That would literally be impossible. PhD or none. Actually, I don't I feel like PhD wouldn't do shit unless you could just shoot it right down at yourself. Or that thing always has to like be at a distance. And it always goes way up in the air before it hits the ground. But that would be a fun thing to try. Maybe there's a mod out there for like BO3 or something where you can use the Joker. I don't know why anyone would spend the time trying to mod that into the game, but could be fun to try it. I'm actually just sitting here scratching my nuts, not even moving and still surviving. Actually, this is probably the round not to do it because this play count gas can take you out quick, but I'm in the middle of an itch, so. Oh, gonna have to move. Use the other hand. Okay. 
not about to go down from Plague Hound Stank. They couldn't just let me scratch my balls in peace. I'm kind of tempted to turn on the Rampage Inducer. But I'm scared if I go down, that I'll have to completely restart. Because I literally only have the Sigma. If I go down and lose PhD, then it's over. So maybe once I get Pack a Punch 3, we'll try if we don't have our Mastery by then. Because we're sitting at a cool 700 kills. And still haven't seen the Mastery pop up. But this definitely feels way too easy right here. Like, there's been no resistance. The hardest round we had so far was the Plague Hound round. And that was because I was playing one-handed. Oh, wait, there it is. Well, maybe we just try Rampage Inducer for a second. We'll see how this goes. It still seems pretty easy. Like, I've barely even had to use a Ring of Fire. If I had to, I haven't had to. I've just been holding on to this Ring of Fire the whole time. Maybe we'll use it against this Megaton. Get where I can see ya. Later, buddy. Already splitting. My screen is turning sideways from the recoil. It's so fun seeing like what weapons aren't supposed to be firing this fast. Because they definitely don't take that into account when the recoil gets crazy like this. All right, well, let's go ahead and exfil. We got both of our launchers done. It's time to get out of here. And normally I'll buy like a Gersh or something, but we really don't need it. We can kind of just fight our way through with this. We just got to be in the exfil site. So it gives us the amount of hostiles to take out. I'll pop the ring of fire right here and just start shooting. You'll see that number drop from 60 down to zero in no time. Normally it's from zero to 60, but since we're going everything in reverse today in terms of weapon usage, we can do the same for enemies. That probably didn't make a single lick of sense, but y'all know what I'm talking about. This is our last guy right here. Go ahead and just pass out, please, bro. Oh wait, is that not even the last zombie? The last zombie's right here. All right, you're good. Come on down, Raptor 1. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Please let me on. Jeez. Raptor 1's all about like, come on, clear the site. Let's get out of here. And he takes his time landing. Bro is so unserious. Oh, look at that. We got six critical kills. Insane number for the Sigma. And there is our RPG and our Sigma Master calling cards. But that's about it. I just wanted to talk about how PhD took these guns from like nothing to something and at the same time get some mastery calling cards done. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.